Hello fellow devs, welcome to this second part of creating a screen space effect inside of uh, ShaderForge. So when we left off, we had this extremely boring effect with just a color to brush over everything else. Let's uh, import a texture 2D asset. And this is going to be very important. And I'm going to name it main text, which is, as you may know, the standard name for the main color texture inside of Unity shaders. So if I compile this, you can once tell that I have my original image back. And that's because the main text is just the original source image. So what we're doing now is just taking the source image and then plugging it into the destination image. So what happens if I put down a multiply and then multiply my color with this emission main text where you can see at once that now we can change our colors like this uh, also not that interesting but that's something we can do let's take this actually a step further now if we take a set of UV coordinates and plug them into a mission like this you see we have the the red U which is the X and the green V which is the Y Let's compile this. Here at the bottom, we're at 0x and 0y, so it's black. Here we're at 1x, so that's 1, 0. And here we're at 1, 1 and 0, 1. So that's why we have full green here, full red here, and full yellow here, and here's nothing. So this is just like a normal UV set inside of any 3D authoring applications, really, except it's in screen space. As you can tell, I've downloaded a flow map of the internet. So what can we do with this? Well, if I bring in a, another texture asset, I'm going to call this my flow displays. Go. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this to. I'm going to do a component mask because we only want the red and green channel. What happens if I add these together and plug them into the UV here? Everything just goes sort of weird. That's also because I don't have my flow map in here. As you can see, everything just goes a bit mental, but you can still see that somewhere down here, actually, that's 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 our hippo. But we don't want all of these extra values from the flow map, and we don't want to have to sort of normalize the. Um, um, we don't want this in this normalized state like this, and we don't want to have to author special textures since that would be you know, probably pretty difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply our flow map by a value of 2, and then we're going to subtract one from that and that basically just takes this from a normalized zero to one space to a um, minus one to one space now all of a sudden if we push that in here you can see that well there's still a garbled mess but Hippopotamus, it's just moved to pretty much the correct location. So what happens if we then multiply this by a I scalar? So let's set this to point twenty five to start with and compile this. And of course, plug this in here. Now, let's compile. As you can see, as we slide this, 
we all of a sudden have a rather cool yeah distortion effect which you could use for well pretty much anything you'd want to use a distortion effect for so that's um, that's all I had for for this lesson and uh, I hope you've been checking out Echo Tales because this is Echo Tales and this is what it's going to look like it's an RPG with the store management part uh, and the store management is pretty much the main game but the fighting is also going to be a lot of fun so make sure to check it out follow our blog at blog.kginteractive.net and follow Echo Tales on Facebook and in the DB and uh, of course on Twitter as well I uh, hope you're learning something if this turns out to be a popular series, I will continue it. For now, I'm taking a break. Bye.